Hello everybody, this is part 3 of modeling uh, conceptual faucet. As you can see on screen, I've created additional construction curves and reference objects to aid in the modeling of the rest of the design. Okay, let's start. Okay, I'm going to trim away this portion. Let's remove away the elements that we do not need anymore. Okay, now I need to create a new set of surface that will match with this uh, circular surface. What I'm going to do is to split this using split surface by ISO curve. Okay, so that I'll be able to get uh, the same amount of segments to match. Okay, now I want to change the direction of the split. So I can click the toggle. Let's create uh, some curve to be the edge boundary. I'm going to use an uh, adjustable blank curve. For one, I will set to position. Two, I will set to curvature. Do the same for other curves. Oops, this is wrong. Try one more time. Okay. Okay, now we can start to create the 
the surfaces. Okay, I'll start by creating this using the sweep tool rail. First rail, second rail, cross section. Oops, this part is um, split up. So uh, <clears throat> I have to merge the edge. Okay, using merge edge. Okay, let's try again. on the control points okay now i want to uh, match this over here to here using a uh, tangent okay to match surface make sure you, you are using preserve isocurve direction yeah set to tangent so that this part will be uh, matched okay and now we can proceed to build the uh, these surfaces here. Okay. Uh, sweep to rail again. This as a rail. Make sure you're using the surface edge. Sorry, let me reorientate the uh, the matching. Okay, this should be the real. Okay, this should be real. First real, second real. Cross section, cross section. Okay, so make sure that these are you're setting it to um, curvature. Let's set to curvature at A. Okay. Oh, it's uh, moving to out. It's okay. I think we set to tangent. Okay, we set to tangent. Okay, click OK. Okay, and we will do a manual match over here ourselves. Okay, so let me do the manual matching over here using a match surface. So this surface to match to this surface edge okay and set it to let's set it to tangent okay then we do the same for here okay make sure you're selecting the surface edge okay so a we set it to tangent okay and click ok and we have to do a manual matching ourselves so let's um match surface match this to the surface edge and set it to tangent okay let's analyze the, the surface quality Okay, seems okay to me? Yep, seems okay. Okay. Let's mirror this to the other side. Okay, now I'm going to build this portion over here. Okay. And I have to uh, create a surface over here first. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now let's use the blend surface. Okay, for this second part here, because it's a whole continuous change, you must click on this and set uh, auto change to yes. Okay. Let's repeat this again. Let's delete these two unnecessary surface so that you will be able to match properly. Okay, let's repeat the blend surface again. Okay, so I uh, set this to auto change equal yes. Okay. Then we ask for the second segment, we click on this. Okay. And then we can set two to position. Okay. Two to position, one to curvature. And you might want to do some fine adjustments to make the flow look better. Okay, I think this looks okay to me. Okay, clear, okay. Okay, I think I'll stop this part of the demo here. See you around. Bye.